or better than you're expecting. I'm sure you it went worse than you were hoping because everyone hopes that every their run goes better always. But yeah, we're just gonna hop into the run. Um, I said it earlier, but I'm sure some people have shuffled in and out. Uh, if you haven't seen this game before, you're in for a treat. Um, Gyro, you might like this. Race car. This isn't the full game. I just think it's wild that this game starts out with a race car. <laughs> oh my god, race car. Um, <laughs> yeah, this game starts out with a car race. Uh, you can tell why I don't play track video. I'm not very good at this level. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's pretty basic. Also, this car was taken... A little bit of trivia. Uh, this car was taken from a game that the dev of this game is has been making on and off. It's it's pretty cool actually. I, I, it's honestly pretty cool, but yeah, I'm very bad at this uh, stage. I don't practice it very much because honestly, it's just like a minute thirty of race car and, and then like five seconds of platforming. Um, I'm here for the platformer, um, in all honesty. But yeah, this is Spark the Electric Jester three for those who weren't here earlier and can't read stream categories. Um, all good. I can't either. Um, yeah, this is a very high-speed platformer um, that is very akin to games like Sonic the Hedgehog, where you can instantly tell, if you watch my Cult of the Lamb run, why I like this game. <laughs> um, but yeah, you play as Spark. Uh, he's, he's basically Sonic on crack. Um, <laughs> look at him. <laughs> but yeah, he's, he's, he's cool. He has his little jacket. And, uh, this game is pretty simple. Pretty simple for this first bit, at least. And, uh, that's Alpine Carrera. Um, first stage. Man, I'm losing time already. What's the point? But, uh, yeah, this game's really cool. Um, <laughs> I just, it's crazy that it starts out with a, with a damn race car. Uh, <laughs> this game just does what it wants, and it's I'm honestly all here for it. But, um, we're gonna just... Up straight into the next level, Double Moon Villa. Um, in this game, play Spark trying to take over uh, the or defeat rather, not take over the Fark Force. Um, this this Fark Force is a very evil uh, robot militia um, that has taken over the world and m most importantly thrown out the uh, Spark's internet. And of course, Spark's mad. He needs the internet for story stuff from the second game. Uh, he gets a big ol' cash check. Um, for helping save the uh, world in uh, Spark the Electric Chester 2, or Spark the Electric Chester 1, and uh, he needs the internet to cash that big check. And uh, without the internet, he can't really do that now, can he? Um, so, yep, that's, that's the story of this game. He's just really upset that he can't get his well-earned money because uh, he's coming out of college and bonk. And he needs that money. So, uh, we want to defeat the Fark Force and, uh, get that back. And, uh, first trick of the run, Magnet Dashing, is, uh, when you, uh, homing attack onto any item in the game. Most items it works on. A few it doesn't really, and it's kind of inconsistent. But most items it works on. And, um, those, uh, uh that Magnet Dash will, uh, basically conserve the momentum of any uh, of the homing attack and launch you off into the opposite direction. So we'll be using that throughout the run to uh, very quickly uh, get some speed. Otherwise, uh, Alpine Carrera, we're just going around collecting some bits. This game has an in-game shop and that in-game currency. Uh, it, the in-game currency are bits um, that we'll be using to uh, get some upgrades once we get out of this level. So. We're going to go around pop all these uh, bubbles, as I like to call them, the uh, weird yellow things. Um, we're going to... I was going to Magna Dash off that one. We'll Magna Dash off this one instead. And then um, we should be good on bits, I believe. Collect this bubble real fast, I think. And then over here. And uh, I will say, I haven't really routed this game right now, so um, should be fine. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. I do know a lot of the stage ILs, so we'll be fine, I'm sure. But yeah, we want to get to about 800, I believe. 
might be a little bit low. 850 is our goal here, but I also should be fine. Um, I think 800 is all we spent. That extra always helps. More money is good, unsurprisingly, but yeah. A little cussing with Spark here. Uh, he's going to tell us the story from the past games. I already told you to you. You're, you're, he's, a, he's a college student trying to get his mo well-earned money. Um, also, fun fact, Spark is an electrical engineer, and uh, that's why he's he has electric powers. His little je uh, jester hat on his head gives him those. And um, let's go ahead and grab Energy Dash, and we'll assign that to the up d-pad and uh we also got regen breaking and jester swipe these are just two abilities that will come in handy throughout the game and now we'll get to our first il well, or at least hoping an il in this game you earn energy through three sources killing enemies uh, energy bubbles and energy capsules um and uh this first tutorial stage teaches us how to jester dash and, uh, of course, killing enemies gets us a lot of energy, so we'll kill, we'll grab three bars full, uh, and bonk. Uh, we kind of hit it. I think that's good enough. We might be just a bit short, so, ooh, nice. We saved it, uh, by getting that enemy there. But yeah, you've just been introduced to the hyper dash, that's what that uh, thing off the enemy was, and what that just was, I did not mean to do that, but I just, uh, managed to anyways. So, uh, oh well. I don't know why I'm going for that, especially when it's gonna take me back all the way here. Anyways, I'm gonna actually complete this stage and stop trying to be all fancy. <laughs> I can't help myself. This game's so fancy, it's cool. But yeah, uh, energy dashes are basically the same thing as magnet dashes. You humming attack, and instead of interrupting it with the air dash, you, um... I just realized I forgot to split for double moon. There we go. Um, I also did the wrong tutorial stage, so, uh, bonk. We'll do power ice tracks now. Cool. Anyways, uh, yeah. It's just the same thing as man magnet dashing, except with the energy dash ability instead of the air dash ability. And, uh, we'll be using that here as well, some. And uh, one other ability we unlocked was the um, Jester Swipe. What this does is allow us to very quickly uh, go through a trail of bits. Um, so. We'll be using this to just pick up some speed along the way. We're also going to just collect some bits uh, throughout this stage. Because, again, more money always good. Otherwise, this stage is pretty straightforward. You're on a train. I will point out uh, that we are playing on normal, or the easiest difficulty for now. That just gives us a boatload of health. Um, I'm gonna actually collect some extra bits here, I think, because I did, I did come up a little bit short in my last stage, so. Okay, well, I died. I guess that's what I get. But yeah, I just wanted to collect some extra. Should be fine. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll be fine. You can actually skip that that t little tutorial card there by pressing both of the triggers on a, on a, your controller. I don't know how to do it on keyboard because um, keyboard Omega Lol. No one plays this game with keyboard. I can't lie to you. Um, very few people do, actually. I'm not super sure just how many, but... Uh, this game does have a few tutorials. The reason we're doing these tutorials aren't because we're really required to. We could totally cut them out, but they're also just really fast. This is because the game uh, wants us to collect 36, 37, somewhere in that range. Um, enough freedom medals to uh, save the planet, I guess, or something. Um, freedom med medals, you just get 
by uh, completing stages. And so tutorial stages are really good for that because they're very fast. So we'll be going through all of them just real fast. Freedom Meadows right there. Um, I think you need five for the next stage, but we won't be going to... Uh, six. Uh, we won't going to be going to the next stage yet because we're going to go over to Cold Dry Desert. Cold Dry Desert is uh, an escape stage. This game has all sorts of different stage types. And escape stages are just uh, stages where you have to uh, beat the timer. So, we'll be going fast, collecting some uh, real fast uh, bit bubbles, and then straight down the middle, hopefully. Kind of slow. I'll actually do a quick pit stop to collect that energy bubble. And that's fine. That was a fine uh, cold dry desert. Uh, it's a train that's stopped and the IL strat on that stage is really hard because you just run in between the two train tracks. It honestly is a, a stage I don't like very much because of that, but it's also relatively fine. And uh, I do believe we should have enough for the shop item that I want right now. Which is... Where is it? Um, did I already buy it? No, I don't know why I menued out of it. I'm very bad at menuing in all honesty. Um, maybe I, it... Charge shot. There it is. Yeah, that's basically just a gun. Um, it's It gives us a gun. And then by the next stage, we'll want... 400 bits, so during this next stage, we'll try to get 400 bits. Or, before the next stage, not before the next boss fight. Should be fine. We're gonna head into the next tutorial stage. I will point out that this game is timed in in-game time, which is just the stage times all added up, and for some reason I wasn't holding forward. I think when I play, I really do. I can use my brain, I promise you. But yeah, this is just a pretty straightforward uh, tutorial teaching you about the charged gesture dash. Uh, basically, you can just do what it says on the right screen. Charge the gesture dash to go faster. And, uh, it's pretty helpful. It's a very good option for um, saving yourself from a very bad fall. It's also, it also has a very obscure piece of tech that no one's really used yet, where if you uh, charge Jester Dash for one frame, you can actually uh, speed up a little bit. So, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Um, hold, you go fast. We'll be using it from time to time around the game. Next, we have our next stage type. AM Village is a coin collecting uh, stage where we want to collect 10 coins. I don't really know the route for this stage, so we'll just try our best. All I know is that we'll want, uh, I believe, 400 bits before the next stage. So, magnet dash across. Man, that's tough. Just barely blocked me. I'm going to collect this, and then, ooh, okay, very cool. This, this, and then go on the spring. This, I wanted to go in between those buildings, but that's fine. I'll go behind here real fast. Okay, I wanted to hit the mag, mag dash off of this. That's fine. I know there's one over here. We do have 400, so I'm fine for now on bits. Give me that coin, please. Thank you. you. Uh, we'll go underwater here, collect this, there we go, and then the last 
of our coins. Thank you, uh, Julian. I'm just gonna call you Julian. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that guess, take that gamble. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, totally agree. Uh, call the lamb, great game. And I think I forgot to split again. Uh, oops. It's hard to to remember things when it's not on your screen and it's just on your phone. But yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, real fast before we go into the next stage, um, I'm going to buy. A very important upgrade for this next stage. I'm just a uh, uh, short. Oh, I thought. Mm, you know what? I have an idea. I forget that the bit time uh, counter is actually cumulative and not um, the stage specific. So, uh, oops. That's fine. Now we're at 500, so I can just quit to minute. That doesn't lose a ton of time. Should be fine. There we go. But yeah, I appreciate the kind words. Um, I am very proud of that run. I was really happy with how it went. And uh, uh, Close of Limbs is a great game. Um, great speed run. Uh, community is great. Massive Monster have been great to work with to advertise that run around. Um, so, do appreciate it. Um, but this is our first uh, instance, really, of combat. Um, the game first wants us to learn how to parry. There you go. If we time a block uh, uh, with a enemy's attack, then we can uh, block that attack and uh, gain some energy out of it. So I guess there was really a fourth w secret way to gain energy this whole time that I uh, just completely forgot to mention. It's fine. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna beat the crap out of this big robot. So, uh, otherwise, oh nice, uh, skip button just hanging out there, huh? Otherwise, uh, just try to block this guy's attacks. This guy, uh, this game does have an actually pretty extensive, uh, uh, combat system, so it's really cool. Of course, it's not really uh, powered up all the way because uh, we need to unlock extra moves through the shop, but it's fine. I'm just gonna block that attack and instead of parrying, and there we go. Sawman is done and over with. For those of you who, have, who just joined, haven't been hanging out this whole time, first, welcome. And second, uh, this is Sparkly Electric Jester Three. It's what I'm going to plan to, uh, what I'm planning on submitting to Summer Games Done Quick 20 or 2023, because um, I want to run this game there. Oh boy, it's so cool. Um, but yeah, just it's just real fast. But next we have Lost Riviera. This stage is the hardest aisle in the game, and uh, we're gonna try some stuff. We're gonna try to have some fun with it. Also, uh, I'm gonna... No. No. I'm good. Never mind. Whew. Anyways. That was decent. So, we're gonna use Hyper Dashes and Magnet Dashes all throughout this stage um, to try to go fast. That wasn't a great Hyper Dash, but we're gonna hopefully make up for it with some pretty unfortunate Jester Dashes. That's okay. Or Jester Swipes. That's okay. I have enough backups to be able to uh well never mind <laughs> this stage is really hard did i mention that i don't know if i mentioned that but yeah um otherwise uh rail uh, rail canyon who um this game is not derivative Man. I'm just gonna try to focus up and... There we go. Hold up. What's the point? Oh well. Ahem. <clears throat> If Spark 3 is getting at GDQ, I'm going for sure. Let's go, Mimic. If you don't go to GDQ, I'm going to be mad. I want to meet you. But also, I guess it is more expensive for you. I think you're Canadian, right? I can't quite remember. 
But uh, we're gonna hit the magnet dash off this and um, just try to do our best to do that. And I hit the wall. I also completely forgot to change my difficulty, didn't I? Tragic. Tragic, really. And what's the point? Just gonna do a quick charge dash. Man. Man. What's the point? Okay, we're gonna make a pit stop over here for you. What? Oh, oh, oh my god. I don't know how I saved that. Okay, well, that is an alright Lost Riviera. Unfortunately, I did lose a lot of time to... Um, not changing my difficulty, which... I need to split for that. Um, eh him. Spark 3 is uh, getting at GK. Uh, I have the money for it. I got the money for the plane tickets. It's just that I also want to go to ESA. That's fair. Um, I don't think we'll know the... Um, I, I assume you mean ASA Summer. Also, I'm just... Uh, mm, we're gonna let the... I'm actually gonna try to beat this guy because I think that'd be faster than taking that much damage. When is someone going to find a way to clip out of bounds of this arena and uh, then we don't have to actually do all that much to um, die to this guy? Man, I can't time parries. There we go. That was slow, but oh well. Um, I've been watching speedrun documentary documentaries for a bit over a year now, summoning salts especially. I don't think I have the chops to learn, but I, it's so fun to see the way people bend the game to their will. Honestly, uh, speedrunning is not as bad as people make it out to be. It's not as hard as people make it out to be, at least. Also, shout out to Reaper Jester. Um, To be quite honest, um, I started speedrunning by just picking up a game that I liked, Sonic Adventure, and uh, having fun with it. Is there anything we need? Don't think so. I do want, actually. Where's the... I'm trying to find it. There it is. Because otherwise I think I have everything that I need for now. Maybe by this. It is a hard decision. Um, it's, our, it's a hard decision, but I think people... Uh, excuse me. I think people try to make too big a deal out of it. Also, did I split for the Guardian? I did not. Um, 
I think people make way too big a deal out of it. What's next? Uh, wall jumping, wall walking. And then, uh, aired hull. Okay. But yeah, I think people make way too big a deal out of speedrunning. Um, I don't- I really don't like how much the- the hobby has kind of become a spectacle. And I don't super dig that. Because it just intimidates people, makes people think they can't do it when really anyone can. And it's kind of weird. Um, it, it becoming a big spectacle is cool because on one part, speedrunners deserve to be known for their, their actions, to be recognized for their efforts and just being uh, so dedicated to a game, right? But also, it's not as hard as people kind of think it is. And, um, I do wish people- I, I do wish that would change a bit, but, you know, I t also totally get it, because I was- I was super intimidating did it when I started. I had wanted to speedrun something for a very long time, but I always thought, oh man, I'm just never gonna find the right game. Um, but, you know, here I am, and I speedrun, like, like, everything under the moon is what I was going to say, and then I failed that stage pretty unfortunately. Thankfully, uh, I did pick up the checkpoint right before this, so... That's fine. Um, yeah, I agree. Speedrunning is not as bad as people say. Um, simply because it's it really is just like picking up a game, picking up a controller or a keyboard, and just kind of going ham. Anyways, um, let's see if I can remember the route, which I think I do, hopefully. Anyways, let me focus up here. And for it. Oh well. Fringe. Alright. For me, I think it's a matter of time and energy between working full time, two cats, living alone with all the cleaning that comes with it. One day when I have the right uh, the time, I might try it out. That's fair. Um, it's hard. Life is life. If other things take priority, that's completely a different thing. Um, but like, you're, you're totally capable of it, right? It, it'd just be like a thing that you'd have to do eventually. Which like, yeah, totally get it. Anyways, uh, this is the fastest stage in the game, uh, at least one of them. Um, hold on. Well, I say after getting massively slowed down, unfortunately. Let's try that one more time. This is one of the fastest stages in the game, Splash Grotto. I'm a big fan of this game, or this stage, rather, because of this. I just think it's so cool. Anyways, I didn't think the hardest thing is finding the game. That's fair. Um, for me, it was always just what what game I wanted to start with. Because everyone's always like, oh, my, my first game is so special or whatever. And um, then I realized that it really doesn't matter that much. So who cares? Um, play what you want, right? Anyways, this game teaches you, um, I think, uh, the last tutorial before the game just kind of lets you go wild, um, about high speeds. Also, I completely flubbed that, so, uh, oops. Uh, 
Rust. For being a high speed platformer, you'd think I'd be better at high speeds the stage. Hold up, we're 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 going back. Holy shit, it's the bad legs. Oh my god, what is that? Yeah, I've had a face cam for a while now. I got it for GDQ and uh kinda just put it into my stream layout because I had a stream layout anyways. Sometimes I, I don't feel like doing face cam, so I just put a random picture of Knuckles there because what did you expect? How's it going, brother? Going okay? That's fair. Sometimes that's all you can ask for, really. Split for that stage, and then Canyon Zero. I forget this stage, I can't lie. What is this stage? Right! It's this stage. First thing I'd try is Binding of Isaac. With the randomness, it can be a lot of fun. That's fair. Binding of, of Isaac is a pretty popular game, from my understanding. Um, to speedrun, that is. I do believe they also have a speedrun mod um, that makes the random drops a bit better. Anyways, this stage is pretty straightforward. Um, we're going to use the skull, score multiplier in the top... Uh, top right there, just under our school score, to um, get it and uh, get it up to um, I believe plus 13, 14. Um, and then there's a little alcove nearby that we're going to want to enter into. All right, so I believe it's uh, where is it? It's right over here. Uh, we're just gonna make sure we're. Actually, at 14 by uh, getting up to 15, and then... There we go. Exits are now open. And that's the only raid stage in the game. You won't see that raid, uh, that stage type again. I don't know why. Um, apparently, it's because Lake, the creator of this game, found that people didn't really like that stage type in testing, and so... He left that one in because it was, of course, already finished. Came with the demo, or uh, came with the playtesting, but I uh, didn't make any more, which kind of sucks because I actually really like that stage type. And then welcome to Beatdown Tower. This is just a lot of combat. So no. Oh. That was a really sick fortune. Let's go. So uh, during combat, we just want to get a nice little combo and uh, also hold the uh, the charge for our gun because that will give us a extra bullet. Additionally, I'm just mixing in uh, multi-shot attacks because we have the energy, might as well. And uh, that's fine. Um, beat down tower, pretty simple. Um, I didn't get to catch it because work in capitalism, but I heard about shoutouts and I appreciate it, friend. Oh, holy shit, it's Sonic Unleashed Werehog section, but fast. So true. Um, and I believe... I forgot to split for, uh, Beatdown Tower again. Or, uh, for both of those stages again. Oh, we're gonna exit out of this stage immediately. Because I forgot something pretty important. I also forgot in, um, the last stage. So, let's quit to menu, thank you. 
Someone please re uh, retime this, uh, because now uh, that's inaccurate, whatever that time in the pause menu was. Um, so, we're going to change our combat difficulty to Challenge Jester. And this will make us have, I think, one hit. Um, so... Whew. Uh, this gets risky. However, it's worth it if we can play well. So, going to try our best and uh, try not to get owned. Ooh. Also, I see the kind words in chat. I appreciate it, gamers. Collect that little bit of energy, then. We're going to Hyper Dash. Monk. Man. This game's just kind of difficult to uh, talk and focus. At least for me right now, because uh, I'm not very practiced. We'll get there. Yeah, just kind of playing it safe. Anyways. One benefit is that this stage has a big auto-scroller. So, also shout out to this being uh, basically Prison Island. Again, Spark 3 is not derivative. Anyways, during the second auto-scroller, I'll be able to re-chat more, but as for now, I have to focus... Oh, I didn't want to hit that, actually. Uh, I wanted to hyper dash off that. Because uh, you can skip a whole bunch by uh, just going to the right there. Oh well. Alright, going above everything there, but. And, oh well. Oh, ah. Uh. Oh well. I was trying to make that jump by charge dashing and I just miss input. Tragic, but oh well, it happens. No! I'm right outside of the checkpoint, please. Let me get there, thank you. Okay, let's see. Make that jump, please. Thank you. Thank you for the free energy. I did not mean to go off that. Jump up here. Faster than taking that loop, even with that slowdown. Uh, we're going to... Ow. Take damage there. Very silly. Silly? Is that a word? But... Man. Ooh, this part's very scary, so I'm going to take it kind of slow. I say, after going on the risky route. I don't even believe this is much faster, but okay, and I took the rail anyways, so I think my time save is all negated. Alright, here's open. Anyways. I forgot how sick this game looked. So true. Hello, Idol. How's it going? I had to really focus for this stage, because, man, it's hard with only one HP. Also, shout out to this uh, uh, stage's IL strat. It's ridiculous. You clip through a wall and skip the entire stage. It's really cool. Um, already, friend, I'm gonna be lurking while I eat foods, but I wish you luck on the runs and submission stuffs. Be safe and have fun. Thank you. Taco Bell, that's still semi-warm. Epic. Uh, 
the reason we played on Challenge Jester that whole time is for this boss fight, the Guardian. And we saw a little bit of him a little bit ago, but um, fun fact, the game doesn't care if we win or lose, so we're just going to lose. And sounds good. <laughs> but also, I'm sure my commentary will get better as I practice. Because, man, is this run hard to commentate uh, and uh, solo and focus at the same time. I didn't split for Guardian. District 6 is our next destination. And this is a stage that I have world record on. And that world record is insanely correct. It won't happen here. I'm uh, sorry in advance. I wish I could world record during a run, but man, is this world record tough to beat. Um, we're going to collect this energy bubble and... Nice. No! Man, what's the point? Oh well, I have a backup for this. Uh, that was really good until, of course, it wasn't. It's chill. This one is easier to hit anyways. There we go. And not even that much time loss. Alright. How ahead am I? I'm three minutes ahead? Okay. Fun. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Granted, my PB is really bad, so I'm also not terribly surprised. Anyways, I believe this is the next... No, this is not. We skipped District 9. Right, because this stage is two minutes long. We're going to District 4, which I think is the train battle. So, hopefully this doesn't completely ruin my game's frame rate. And yes, it did. Great. Okay, I didn't really. I didn't change it to back to challenge or to easy. This is all of a sudden very risky. That's why. Okay, let's actually quit the menu. That's two times now that I'm going to have to. Actually, honestly, it's probably fine. Anyways, is this 1.0 or 1.1? This is 1.1. I don't play old patches, because why is, would I? Anyways, I'm going to try this one more time. One point oh is fine, but um, not really my concern if uh, I want to get this into SGDQ. Go for it, Mimic. I'm just beating up some, some baddies. I parried a bullet. <laughs> I parried two bullets. Hold up. Let me actually focus on pressing buttons real fast. Okay. I saw stuff I didn't know what to react to, but it was actually pretty fun. I would prefer if you always use it, yeah. I know people are like, uh, like struggle with it just because it's weird pronoun. Honestly, fair. Um... But yeah, I would prefer if you always tried to. 
at the very least, if you're making an active effort to, I don't super care if you accidentally don't, but I would prefer if you do. This stream is not sponsored by Dr. Pepper. I'm just a weirdo freak addict. That's not like super true or anything, but it's relatively true. Also, uh, yeah, so fun fact in this stage, you can just walk through that or uh, gesture swipe through that and it's uh, it doesn't even matter. This stage actually has a lot of fights that we're going to completely skip by just walking around them. That uh, was one of them that you just saw was me walking around that platform. Uh, we're hoping to get pretty good uh, speed throughout the last part of the stage as well to skip one. But um, here we're going to skip another fight by walking around here. And uh, man, that's rough. Ah, I want to get out. Unlucky, but we'll just we'll live with one of the fights out of the however many. Honestly, it's pretty tough to skip all of them, especially this one. This one's particularly hard. I don't know why I parried there, but that's fine. There we go. All right, cool. <laughs> Go on, Spark. Get out of here. Bye bye. Uh, I guess that's fair. Yeah, I, I know French is weird, frankly. I know everything's gendered and it kind of sucks. I also didn't realize you were French. Right! You're a uh, Canadian, French Canadian. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I forgot you're, you're from Quebec. <laughs> I don't know how I forgot that, but I end up doing it. Um, but yeah, I, I get that. Um, like, I know you aren't the best at English also, man. That's rough. Um, and like, I, I, I yeah, that's, that's fine. I understand. Man, what's the point? Um... I was going to try that again, but honestly, we're just gonna go the kind of normal route. Hopefully. I used a lot of energy trying to get there, so... I'll take you instead. Never mind. I wanted to get over to this building, but Downtown Descent is not really working with me. Uh, at this point... I don't know how much time I'm actually losing on the, like, compared to the normal route, but I do actually want to use this route still, because I think it might be faster. What's the point? I just can't hit anything. Oh well. Slow route, why not? Or, uh, bad route, bad, bad, I'm a bad player, man, what's the point? Not actually that tilted, but, man... This stage. What's the point? Okay, I'm restarting. I don't care. I've wasted like a minute in this stage now. Simply hit this route, please. That uh, will line up for it. There we go. No, I didn't want to hit that. Oh well. Oh well, mood. Hmm. 
<clears throat> Sorry, chat. I'm busy gaming right now. So, uh... I'll answer stuff as soon as I can. Hold up. Whoa. 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 Cool. That's fine. Let's chill. We're chilling. Man. What's the point? What's the point? The same with nail pronouns because of autism language processing issues. Yeah, that, that's also fair. I mean, I honestly, okay, I was pressing the wrong buttons. Um, honestly, like, I don't know. I'm I'm chill as long as you do your best. I get it. Also, uh, that might be a problem. Never mind. Okay, that wasn't even much faster than the casual route, but whatever. Um, I'll get there eventually. Um, it is nice to see some trans folks uh, running games at big events. I love how GDQ is so good about making pronouns visible and enforcing them in chat. Yeah, GDQ is good with it. Um, unfortunately, um, you know, GDQ is not the whole internet, so... Still people will do things. I don't care, man. I, I, I don't. Um, I'm very whatever. I, I don't... I'm not particularly uh, concerned with things, in all honesty. If it becomes like a... You are doing this on purpose, that's one thing. Um, I did not split... Am I going to residential rattle or strike sewers? I'm going to strike sewer sewers. But yeah, I don't I don't feel like it particularly like offends me or anything. I don't know. I'm just a chiller. Um I don't I don't look for reasons to be angry. Unless uh, they become reasons I need to be angry. So as long as, you know, you do a good job trying your best. Um, I'm going to build up a full energy meter. There we go. Anyways, this strat's really cool. I like this strat. Nice. JDQ is usually pretty nice about things like that. Um, JDQ is good people. They have plenty of people who fall all over, you know, everywhere. Squabble spillway. Then residential rat uh, rattle, and then I don't even really remember. Residential rattle in all honesty. Thankfully, I do remember Squabble Sewers, because I routed this myself. I'm gonna ignore that one down there, because it is slow.
There we go. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't run into issues with people often about it. Um, mainly because, like, again, as long as, as long as people are making an active effort to try their best, I get it. Um, but also, like, I, I don't know, like. There's a very specific reason I use the pronouns I do, and I feel like most of most people get it once I explain it to them, but otherwise it's just a, hmm, that is strange. Oh, I remember th this route now. It's a really cool route. So, watch. Someone clip that, please. <laughs> Man. There we go. Not even far enough. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to go in. I didn't realize it was already that close. Oh well, at least I have to hyper search now, so that will be a better combat ability for now. And I don't even need it. Yeah, that was not a great residential rattle. But we get to a very cool stage next. Roadway Rally. I showed this before I started this run. But um, we're going to go to the right here, or left. I know my directions. Magnet dash off of you and uh, gesture swipe on those. Gesture swipe again. Duh. Boom. We're on this invisible wall. We can walk up it very easily. In fact, as long as the slope is there. And once that building's out of sight, we're going to launch using an energy dash, jump over an invisible wall there, and off into the distance we go. Because we're going to just go to the end of the stage. Uh, splat. We're dead. But the game doesn't care. We hit the goal. Yeah, I really like that trap. Uh, you just jump over the map uh, instead of taking the cart, which is super cool. <laughs> What is that being, what is that word being censored? I'm curious. Also, here is a very cool boss in the um oh, so I was pressing the wrong thing in the airship. And uh, after this boss, we'll be unlocking a very important uh, combat ability. Guys, meet Float. Float is a different character in this game. And uh, she has one very specific ability that actually helps us out quite a lot in this speedrun. And that is um, the uh, a passive ability if you have her equipped. Um, so, after this fight, we'll unlock her in the store. And we'll talk about it some more when we get into the, I believe, next boss fight should be a good time to talk about it. Um, as for story, Float is a character from the second game and she's back. Yay! But um, she's the first Jester power we'll unlock and she's also... One coin. Um, it's fine. Um, I don't believe we need any other upgrades, so we should be good as for that. So, next stage, I will give a flashing lights warning too, just in case. Uh, it shouldn't be a too big of a deal, but you also never know. But, welcome to Historia Hysteria. Hysteria. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, this place is really cool. It's 
So. You can actually gesture swipe through that, uh, that lore if you're fast enough with your gesture swipe. It's actually really cool. I was hoping I'd hit it. Oh, well. But yeah, this is, this, this place is really cool. It has the best music in that game, in the series, arguably. Arguably for a reason, because, uh, I don't know how popular that take actually is, but, um, it's also super trippy. It has a bunch of cool visual effects, a bunch of cool little, uh, tricks of the mind, and, uh, I love it. But, um, otherwise, grinding on this rail. Okay, interesting launch there. <laughs> Epic. Uh, I believe you're wanting to go just straight left here. Yep. And that's the end of that fake endless hall. But don't worry, guys. A real endless hall is coming up soon. <laughs> you'll, you'll understand the joke in a minute or two if you haven't played this game. So uh, I'm actually going to hyper dash. Uh, I was going to try to hyper dash off that, but it's fine. We'll just get a simple energy dash and then. Uh oh. <laughs> I forgot you had to switch rails there. There we go. Grab that energy bubble there real fast. Turn around and uh, off we go. That's another fake in, in this hallway. Ow. Ow. There we go. Story of Hysteria is very cool. I had to focus, because this game is hard. Er. Nighttime Phenomena. Historia Hysteria in general is cool. We're six minutes ahead. Alright, next is Endless Hall, which is quite an interesting stage recently. Mimic, you're gonna have to show me the, the strat for this stage someday, because it seems kind of crazy to be able to get 60 seconds, or uh, 30 seconds on it. Um, like, what the fuck? But yeah, we just have these big walls, and uh, we have to Go, uh, go kill them all. That was weird. I'm just gonna tank all this damage because doesn't really matter. Alright, cool. That was weird. That happens sometimes if you take damage, because, uh, much like Cult of the Lamb, this game was made in Unity, and Unity isn't known for consistent physics. 
Man, that's a really unfortunate damage. Uh, piece of damage that we just took. Hopefully it'll be fine, but we'll see. Just spam Chester Swipe until we can actually hit a damn Betrayal. But, I'm lucky. Man, shout out to Easy Mode for giving you, uh, double health. <laughs> or, uh, two, uh, hit points per thing, because, man. But, uh, I'd not be doing too hot if, uh, we didn't get to- oh my god, please. Thank you. There we go. Now we're gonna go around here to skip a mandatory fight sequence, and that's a decent in this hole. Not really, it's kind of bad, but oh well. Still ahead. And then next is Balloon Fiesta. Um, a stage that I have world record on. So I'm gonna tilt my camera up a little bit, because I don't want to have bad posture my entire stream. Um, Balloon Fiesta is really rough. I have world record on this stage. Uh, God, if, uh, my camera could be good for a moment. And uh, it's, it's, it's just, oh boy is this stage hard. Nice. That was a really good, uh, never mind. Shout out to Float being clutch. Man. We're gonna restart that because, uh, whew, that did not go well. I accidentally used, um, both of my, uh, energy dashes when I was just supposed to use one. But oh well. We're gonna kill some of these enemies real fast. Nice, there we go. We skipped two uh, mandatory combat sequences in that last area by uh, balloon dashing, um, which is just magnet dashing off those balloons that are exclusively in Balloon Fiesta. I think it's cool. I think that stage is really neat. Let's go ahead to drop ship. Daybreak. This stage is kind of weird, and I also completely forget the, um, the route. I cannot lie. Um, I think we collect you. You're just gonna wing it. Why not? I don't really remember this route at all. Cool. Go behind here. You. Oh, I very nearly died there. Oh, very nearly died there as well. Um, and we'll go out the front here. <laughs> I just wanted to do that because it'd be cooler than uh, doing the strat. Man, rough. 
Okay. Let's, uh... Cool. That was fine. Whatever. Not a great route, but for not remembering it, pretty fine. Also, I just realized we don't do Heaven Park in this route, which is weird, because that stage is really easy. I don't know why I have it routed out. Oh well, I guess we'll change my route. We'll see what I did slow here. But um, this stage is really, really cool. This boss fight. Because these guys are all um, uh, previous boss bosses from the last Spark games. And also, I forget I need to jump when he stomps. Um, I didn't jump high enough. Also, you may have noticed the r little red, red smiley face there. Um, that is the ability Float provides, and the only reason we buy her during this run is that that is actually a bonus damage, uh, a thing that gives bonus damage. Also, the ah, literally such a small sliver of health. What's the point? But yeah, this, these are all uh, previous bosses from other Spark games. I think this is such a cool little theme. Um, cool little fight. Man, I didn't get any one cycles. Not great. But oh well, we'll see. But yeah, this song uh, is also cracked. Um, it's super good. Um, can I at least get a two cycle for you? Probably not. Yeah, I didn't think so. LOL. But yeah. Okay. Annoying. Just gonna spam a few. Also, shout out to the vocal track here. Nice. All right. That was a decent throwback. Uh, honestly, it was kind of bad, but oh well. I don't think I did a very good job in my PB, as you can tell by me saving a minute. Um, my PB is not very good. I did one run. And also, this is 1.0 splits, so some stuff has changed since 1.0 because it's new stuff. But, next is Airstrip Madness, and I'm a big fan of this stage. Um, I still want to get my world record on this stage a lot lower, but by god is it hard. Uh, I'm not going to do the IL strat here. There's a wall run that you can actually do if you're uh, good enough where you run ac across this wall and then land about here and uh, don't actually lose that much speed. Man. But yeah, we're gonna climb up this wall up to the roof of this uh, robo airport and uh, wall run here and just jump through that roof. A very easy way to clip out of bounds in this game is actually to um, jump while your gravity is shifted and once it returns and you're against a roof, you just hit, hit the jump button. Once your gravity returns back to facing downwards, you just hit the jump button and you can jump through the roof. We do that to get out, out of bounds and over the roof there. Duh. We're gonna do that again inside this plane because there's a very helpful uh, energy bubble right here. We're gonna snatch real fast. And then big tunnel, which if we run to the top, lose our, all our speed at the tippy top and jump through. You saw a bit there. We'll uh, just pop on through on the other side, just like that. And boom, we're at the goal now in a little under 11 minute, uh, 1 minute and 36 seconds. I think that might actually be a new world record. I can't remember. I don't think it is, but it might be, but I can't remember. So that's Airstrip Madness. I love that stage. It's so cool. 
then what stage are we doing next? I believe Mayday Midday, which is very much the same thing. Um, thank you for the follow, Punkoop. I think I recognize that name, but I don't remember where. I feel like it was someone I had uh, been watching the other day. Regardless, we're gonna very much do the same thing that we did in Airstrip Madness uh, here, where we're gonna lose all our momentum at the top, run across these tunnels all the way over to here, where we're going to do that same jump once more. And uh, I have world record on this stage as well, smiley face. But, man, we can't hit this jump. There we go. All the way right into the goal. Big fan of that. Um, oh, I believe next is the boss fight. This game has it all, as you might be able to tell if you've been watching the past, uh, how long has this run gone in RTA? 116? One minute, one hour and 16 minutes. But were you expecting a mecha? Because that's what it just turned into. We're fighting against Guardian, or Greater Guardian, um, and he is uh, piloting a big mecha that kind of looks like him on the other end, and we're piloting a mecha as well, and um, big mecha fight. And uh, it's really cool. I love the uh, cameras in the top right here, but there isn't actually all that much we can do to make this fight go faster. Uh, we just kind of have to try to beat his ass. Also, hello, Xanaru. How's it going? Nice. There we go. But yeah, there's just a huge mecha in this game. Um, it's pretty sick. And, um, you may be thinking, we're done with the tutorials, right? We, we got what, we're done with them way earlier, right? Um, now, we have two more stages left. Three more. Three more stages left. One of those stages is a dam fall damage tutorial. You'll see why in, like, a minute or so. Um, but fall damage is pretty simple. Fall damage is this big red meter that appears when, of course, we're falling. And there are three ways to cancel it, as you might read on the right. We can jump. I apparently used my jump. Um, but we can jump, we can dash, or we can charge jester dash. So, going to jump here first instead. Or we can also land on a sloped incline, and I was hoping to keep that speed there to, until we reach the goal here. But obviously if you fall for too long, uh, you die. And it won't actually really matter. Um, but it's good to know about fall damage. Because the next stage, we'll be skipping basically all of it. We'll be falling for a bit. Um, so, welcome to Deep Descent. This stage is a very big crater. Crater that it's our job to go down. In order to do that, we'll actually be um, using an ability and uh, infinitely falling. Um, it's 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 a fun time. We have fun here. We clown around a bit in in Spark Three. Um, if you don't like it, take your sensitive ass back to Spark Two. Actually, there's way more clowning in Spark 2. I don't know if I should say that, actually. But as we fall down here, we're going to use Hyper Surge and uh, really fast afterwards block. Um, what this will do is stall us in midair. This is because uh, Hyper Surge has a uh, real fast uh, stop. So it just stops you in place. 
and uh, we'll be using this to uh, cancel the fall damage uh, whenever Spark is falling. This is a really tight type, type timing, so uh, I'm gonna focus up here. But yeah, we'll be falling for a bit. And that's what happens if you miss it. Thankfully, we can just try again. Our energy doesn't actually deplete when we use this trick, so that's why we can use it infinitely. And um, it also doesn't deplete whenever we die. So, we'll be trying it again, because it saves that much time. There used to be an IL strat where uh, you would uh, use a character that you unlock after beating the game and uh, their ability to shoot a gun. I wasn't paying much attention. That's awkward. Um, so we'll try it again. All right. It's also much more difficult than it'd seem, because um, that parry timing it window is really short. So we're actually going to just uh, real fast. Man, that's rough. I accidentally hit parry first, or uh, block first. We'd be done with the stage right now if I didn't muck it up. Unfortunate. I'm choking, what's the point? This takes so much concentration. <laughs> Never, we're keeping good pace. Just gotta down a bit more. All right, there we go. And we're good. Woo! Man, that strat's really rough. Um, missing it, just, whew. There we go. Epic. Okay, whew. Man, focus gamer mode is rough. Um, that's not the last time we're seeing that trick, by the way. Um, the next stage is named Utopia Shelter. Utopia Shelter is supposed to be this very, very long, very, very tough 
um, final area where it tests all of your skills and you have this is the only area in the game where you have a limited number of lives you saw there we had 17 um, pretty standard the stage of course opens with a mini boss fight because oh uh, you gotta you gotta right uh, one last time with the guardian and uh, we'll we'll take care of him surely this time run out of that big explosion and uh we don't care too much about energy here so we're actually going to just hyper surge there deal a bit of extra damage and boom he's done we don't carry any of that energy over so uh we don't care too much about it we will beat the shit out of the guardian though where as you may see in the bottom right there flint but um otherwise stage really starts after that fight this stage is intended to be a about 13 14 minute um non-stop platform uh platforming test where everything you know is put to the test and uh you gotta use it all to get through and um we'll be skipping most of that thankfully uh we have some platforming um uh, to do first uh, okay nice to save that um uh so we're gonna just use this to use that little part to collect some energy what happened there Oh well, should be fine. We have plenty of time to collect the energy we need. Typically, we'd have energy here for this next jump uh, using this big ramp. Might still make it. There we go. Perfect. But yeah, we're just gonna go through, shoot a bunch of enemies. Do our best. We're going to uh, run up along this and uh, just water run across one last invisible wall for the fans. Also because it's faster. Use one energy dash to just cement our feet. Our little toes uh, need to hang on a little bit. <laughs> well, it's, uh, you know, we fall to our death. Kind of bad if we uh, do that. Whew. I can't say anything. Oh no, chat's gone. My phone died. Uh-oh. There we go. Save that, thankfully. Use a quick one there. Okay, goodbye chat. Uh, I'm entering the focus realm, I suppose. Alright, so now we have to cross this very large bridge to enter the city. Shout out. But before anything else, spring. Thank you. Ow. Kill some enemies there for some nice energy. Then just some wall running across these little gaps. And uh, we're going to wait for this guy to stop shooting a bit. I'm going to dash off him. Uh, we're not going to uh, worry too much about things. Uh, right, there we go. I'm going to dash off you. You want to go fast. Oh no. I'm going to die. I'm fort. All right. Um, it should be fine. We can just use some energy there. That's not a big deal. We should get enough to uh, make up for it. Thankfully missed that uh, gas canister. Those things are real annoying. They just block out your vision a ton. Also, shout out to the weird bubble things here. Um, they're from Deep Descent originally, but um, they do 
either, depending on their color, um, spawn a bunch of weird demon guys uh, to chase you, or um, they'll essentially just uh, laser attack you. <laughs> They're pretty crazy, but I'm going to collect some extra energy there right before our next big uh, skip. Jump across these buildings. Use float to wall jump up this instead of, you know, oh no. Unfortunate, we're gonna die. Okay, I deserve that. I won't go for that. Alright, there we go. Swap back to Spark, we're just gonna run across the road instead. That gap, a little bit insurmountable. I hope chat is behaving. But, off into the abyss now that we've crossed the bridge, exited the city, now going into the depths of a utopia shelter, down this very big gap. That was actually super clean, wow. Oh, I, no one's seen it that clean, wow. Crazy. Anyways. Hit these uh, booster pads, and we're gonna run on the wall for a bit. As this is uh, probably faster, I imagine. Probably, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't really practiced much of this stage, but it seems fast. So, good enough for me. We will be going through one, uh, one bit of this stage that um, we typically wouldn't see if uh, I had the appropriate amount of energy. Welcome to Nier Automa, apparently. Uh, I haven't played that game, but, you know, apparently. Apparently, this is, this is similar, um, according to people who have played the game. So, collect some last energy, and um, next, we're just gonna fall down. There we go. Um, so, see that big blue tower down there? We're gonna reach it using the same trick as before. So, I have like two, three minutes of falling. Whee! Concentration gamer mode activated. Oh my god, that was so close. I'm not playing it that risky, come on. Whew. This stuff is nerve-wracking. <laughs> it's not too tight, but it is very easy to fuck up and then lose all your energy. And since you can't restart from checkpoint in Utopia Shelter, there's no way to uh, salvage it if you mess up. Well, just like that. Um, you also have a limited number of lives to try it, so it's just, whew, it's a, it's a whole thing. All right. Well, attempt number two. Let's 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 do it. At the least, I'm not using my energy. We're actually just gonna fall off here then. A bit far away, so uh, we're gonna try to make up the distance, but.
man. This stuff's rough. Uh, I'm gonna have to definitely practice this some more, but... Better than before, because uh, this stage used to be a bit of a nightmare. In all honesty. Still is a nightmare, because fuck me, I can't hit the skip. Oh god, this camera's really disorienting. No, dude, fuck. Man, that's rough. Alright. Um, import. I'll keep trying this because I need to practice clearly and uh, who cares? I'm on PB pace. So it will be fun. My Utopia Shelter is apparently really bad in PP. Kinda sucks because I was like 30 more seconds of falling until like we're literally fine. I don't know what happened there in Fort. And play it safe and always just do it at like uh what with one quarter left. I don't care. I also don't really care if I get slow-mo. It's not a big deal anyways.
Alright, we're fucking gaming. Whew. Okay. That's fair. I deserve that one. Alright. Well, not a great Utopia shelter, just because of those two deaths. Especially the one... I think it was actually three deaths. But especially that one where we, uh... We managed to uh, get all the way down and then just fuck up the, the, the like the last 30 seconds, but whatever. <sighs> practice is practice, no matter what, um, at the end of the day. So, <clears throat> burpees. <laughs> so sorry, chat. I don't know why I said that. We're gonna collect this checkpoint and uh, immediately turn around to do the same thing that I just fucked up for like five minutes. So, it's fine. I think more than five minutes. It was like six, seven, eight. But oh well. Damn, I didn't want to take fall damage there, but oh well. There we go. Bonk. All right. Um, hi, Venom. Uh, I can see chat, but I tabbed out during that. It's fine. Um, no way. It's Venom. Show. It's it's Venom. 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 So cool. Appreciate it. How's it going? How was your drumming earlier? Man, if only I could block, that'd be nice. So shout out to Flo also working in this fight, despite, you know, no D-pad abilities. There we go. Man. Very bad at the combat in this game, I cannot lie. Nice, that was really fast. Man, this fight, this attack, really? Whatever, I'm just gonna damage boost through it. Cool, that was really good, uh, uh, line work segment. Let's go, chat. Come on, good PP pace. Let's hope this last fight goes well. Dude, that was such a good final fight. Oh my god. Sub 30 on the la last hit? Jeez, dude. Anyways, time's coming up as the fade to black happens. So, aliens, question mark? There we go. 116! Let's go. I'm happy with that. Um, This game is really hard. Also, I want to sit through these end credits. If you haven't played this game, close your eyes. But I just like the songs here. Anyways, let's go. I'm really happy with that. I have to take I have to take a picture for Twitter because PP. Hold up. There we go. Thank you for the GG's chat. Yeah, I'm actually pretty pretty happy with that time so far. 
it's not sub hour because sub hour is possible and, and has happened um but we'll get there i'm not in a rush let's but yeah close your eyes if you don't want spoilers for this game which i would highly recommend you don't because man this game's story is pretty fucking corny but it's really good i really like it i'm a big fan um, especially because this scene. I like this. <laughs> also, shout out to the GOAT. Um, shout out to the GOAT uh, for me, Fark. I think he's really cool. So, with that, also shout out to zero dropped th frames over this entire stream. Man, my college dorm Wi-Fi is actually pretty solid. Um, but yeah, I pretty pretty solid run. Pretty solid uh pretty solid run. Especially for the first run that I've really done of any percent. Um like uh, that's my second completed run, I think. Um for second completed run, I'm pretty happy with that 116 is a big improvement. 